there has been a number of West Virginia natives to one, get selected in the NFL draft, then two, have a prolific professional football career while doing so. Fairmont native Zach Frazier is looking to add his name to a list of Mountain State natives that has included Sam Huff, Randy Moss, and most recently, Darnell Wright to get their name called on draft night. Frazier is your typical, quote, football guy. He was raised in a family that saw football as the king, allowing him to grow and learn from former players firsthand, especially his father, Ray. Frazier credits his father's knowledge of the game of football, which allowed Zach to grow in multiple ways, both on and off the football field while doing so. His father, Ray, was an offensive lineman at Fairmont State University. He taught me technique and fundamentals from little league through middle school and then was always watching, even through high school and in college, and uh, just always watched and I could always ask him questions. Um, and it just really, really helped me develop. Football started becoming a big piece of Frazier's childhood into his teen years. He also found another passion along with his game on the gridiron, which was wrestling. Frazier not only thrived on the gridiron, but pinned opponents on the mat and collected state titles, winning four heavyweight state wrestling titles with the Fairmont Senior Polar Bears. The Fairmont native saw similarities between the two sports and it just added to his case to continue growing. Wrestling, it's a lot of hand fighting, just understanding leverage, and that's no different than playing offensive line. Um, so I, I think wrestling really helped me just develop hand fighting skills and then also um, you know, knowing how to use leverage to, to move people. Nick Bardick, Frazier's high school football coach at Fairmont Senior, also saw the different ways his linemen's play on the mat translated to the football field. More than anything, he's a winner, and so he understands how to win. And uh, wrestling, being an individual sport, uh, is great for teaching guys how to win. Uh, it's also great uh, for these guys to understand hand-to-hand -hand combat and having physicality and violence within a, a small area and he applied all of that onto a football field. Frazier and his polar bear football teammates only captured one class AA state football title, which came in 2018 as Fairmont Senior defeated the Bluefield Beavers 23 to 13. The state title felt like a weight was taken off of Frazier's shoulders. However, the lineman remembers how electric of a time it was when Fairmont Senior captured that class AA title. We won every game that year and it was just, it was, it was a fun time, um, you know, I made a lot of memories um, with all my teammates and it was just really fu a fun season of football, you know, especially when you don't lose a game and then finish with the championships pretty special. Frazier ultimately made the decision to make the short drive up I-79 to become a member of the Mountaineer football program. I grew up as a fan first, so, you know, grow growing up watching Gino and Tavon and Stedman and Pat White and uh, Owen Schmidt, all those guys, so um, I always wanted to come up here, and uh, it was pretty, pretty special to live out that dream. Frazier, along with many other freshmen in 2020, battled not only for time and positioning on the field, but off the field, they also battled the deadly COVID-19 disease. Frazier said that the college football experience was there, but it was not quite what he thought of what it was growing up. The stands weren't filled with people, which might have helped me as a freshman, honestly. Um, because the stadiums weren't loud. Frazier's first, quote, big crowd moment happened in 2021 when Virginia Tech came to Morgantown in a battle for the Black Diamond Trophy. That Virginia Tech game, that was one of the loudest games I've heard, probably besides the pit game this year. Um, so to see, uh, you know, all the fans and full action, that, that was pretty cool. It was a cool experience just, you know, being a player and just hear, hearing how loud they were. Is special. The backyard brawl between WVU and the Pitt Panthers is the premier rivalry being a West Virginia native. Pitt snuck one out with a narrow victory in 2022 in Acrisure Stadium in Pittsburgh. However, in 2023, Frazier and his fellow teammates made sure the Mountaineers got the Panthers on their own home field. That was a, a cool experience. Probably my favorite game that I've ever played in just because of the atmosphere. Um, and, you know, that's a rivalry that feel like should be played every year so um, you know to finally get them down here uh, in our stadium it, it was pretty special. All in all Frazier finished his illustrious Mountaineer career having started in over 35 games earning All-American honors two times and all Big 12 conference honors three times. WVU coach Neil Brown saw Frazier take multiple strides in his game from 2020 to his final game in the old gold and blue last fall. You know, he never played center in high school. And so um, 
as a sophomore, you know, as a sophomore junior, then his fourth year, you know, his snaps got increasingly better, and and that was something that he never had to do, and so that's something too that I think uh, improved. He's always been a natural strong guy. He's always played with great leverage, and I think that goes to his wrestling background. Um, and then his football knowledge, and and I think that was through um, our staff here, but also just him being diligent and working on it. Bardic echoes what Brown saw for the strong lineman during his time in Morgantown. I think really for him, uh, leadership role uh, is, is what improved the most. Uh, he already had a work ethic uh, better than just about anyone you're going to find. Uh, he also uh, physically uh, was gifted, but also did something with that. Now, the next step in Frazier's journey is preparing and getting selected in this year's 2024 NFL Draft. Last year, there were three West Virginia natives drafted in that draft, coming from Huntington's Darno Wright, Parkersburg's Brenton Strange, and Martinsburg's Tyson Bajan. Frazier is ready to kickstart the next phase of his professional football career. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool to you know, go to the Senior Bowl. Um, I didn't get a play in it, obviously, uh, because of my injury. Um, and then go to the Combine and participate in Pro Day. It's just been cool to, you know, watch the process, you know, as a, as a kid, you know, watching the draft, stuff like that. And then to finally get to do it, it's pretty cool. The 2024 NFL Draft will begin on Thursday, April the 25th, and will end on Saturday, April the 27th. For Gazette Mail Sports, I'm Taylor Kennedy.